Welcome to the Seller Series. I'm Chris Gilmore. This is episode 20, number four. And today's topic is all about marketing. What can we do to improve buyer engagement, inspections, to create buzz competition around your home? Because there's so many things that you can be doing around the marketing with the, the amount of technology that's out there. So I'm just gonna go through some really simple marketing ideas that you, if you're thinking of coming on the uh, onto the market, that you can be asking your real estate agent. So the very first thing, it's a very simple one, is engage a professional photographer. I know a lot of people are amateur photographers, they think they can take really nice photos, but it's actually not really technically in taking the photo, it's more in the editing. And that's where the skill really is shown between an amateur and a professional photographer. Now, to engage a professional photographer, how much would that cost you? A general photo shoot should cost you roughly, depending on the size of the home, but it can range anywhere from two to four hundred dollars. Um, but it's a real well worth it investment, really, in professional photography. Now, the second thing that they should also be doing: try and find a photographer or someone that can actually fly a drone, because this is great for the buyers, and the buyers absolutely love looking at drone shots. And what a drone shot does, it actually allows you or the prospective buyer to see so much more on that land. Instead of doing the Google Street View and stuff like this, this really gives them that bird's eye view from up above. To give you some examples on a suburban block, you could be seeing, is it a corner block? Is there two street access? How big is the house on the land? Where's the pool? Where's the patio? Where are the water tanks? Where's the garden shed? If you're on waterfront, perfect. There's no better way unless you've got a boat to, to take that real nice stunning front shot. But a drone is perfect. If you're in an apartment high up and you're allowed to fly a drone, make sure you look at your drone walls. Don't take this um, as, as you like, but you know, there are drone walls around. But also on acreage property, you know, if you've got a one acre, a two acre, or a 10 acre, um, it, it really just shows the size of the land and where everything is positioned. It's also good to show the position of the home where it's located, close to schools, bus stops, um, because you can pinpoint things around how far from the city or the river or the local shop, stuff like that. So drone photography uh, has only come into it in the last couple of years, but we're having massive success with that. So the third marketing hack that I'm gonna talk about is exactly what you're doing right now. And you're watching a video. We're presenting and you're watching. And what a better way to get that your message across or your home in front of more buyers through video. Now, I've been doing video now for 12 years, and but it's really now just becoming more popular. But the buyers are actually wanting to see more. Sure, you can show stunning photos, 15, 20, 30 photos, but Video just shows so much more and it engages with the buyer. The other thing that it does, it actually keeps them longer on your property. So now, a tip with video, try to make it as short as possible, okay? You will lose the buyer's attention, basically. So we try to limit ours to about one and a half to two minutes. Anything longer than that is probably too long and they'll be then disengaged. But it allows them to see the home as it really is through the lens. Uh, it will show the walkthrough, stuff like that. And a really good video is where the agent is presenting. That agent is actually walking through the home and talking, just not a like a slideshow video. I'm talking absolute, professionally shot, edited, and that should cost around about the $500 mark for a really good video. But you'll get about 15 times more inquiry if your property has video on it. And the stats and the proof are all there. The fourth thing that you can do is what we call a Matterport tour. Now, what is a Matterport tour? Really funny thing, what it is, it is actually a camera on a tripod. Think of just like a square, but it actually has nine lenses. It's an amazing camera. Now, we purchased this for, I think it was around 13 odd thousand dollars from the States about six, seven years ago. So we've been doing this pretty much from when they first come out. But what it is, the best way to explain it is a bit like Google Street View, but it's inside your home, inside and out. So anyone in the world can actually physically walk through your home, doors, wardrobes, look up, look down, full 360 through your entire home. So just, it's absolutely brilliant and really good for interstate buyers. So we sell a lot of our properties to interstate buyers that don't even physically actually come and look at the home. Now, a really simple marketing, uh, marketing strategy for you is floor plans. Now, the amount of times that I look at properties online that don't have floor plans, it is rule 101 of real estate. You want to be able to show where everything is positioned. So some buyers don't want master bedrooms at the front. They might want them at the rear. 
Is there a kid's retreat? Where is the second living? Where is the kitchen positioned to the lounge rooms, bathrooms? Uh, is there internal access from the garage? And that's what a floor plan does. And it also gives them a bit of an idea of where they can place their furniture, where windows are placed, where walls are and stuff like that. But it is that's rule 101 of all real estate. If you haven't got a floor plan on your home, you are going to be losing buyer's attention. So it's a really easy thing. And your photographer, if you engage a professional photographer, they generally can draw the floor plan for you as well. So the last marketing uh, hack that we're gonna talk about is where you're actually positioned online. Now we know you've got the big real estate portals and it costs money to, be, uh, to place an ad onto those portals, but it is actually imperative that you are on both of them, realestate.com and domain, because you don't know where your best buyer is gonna come from, plus you've got hundreds of other websites. But they're your two major leading real estate website portals. Now, basically they charge you for position, but we have enough statistics and proof to know that if a property has, when it's listed or the longer it goes on, it gets further down the page and stuff like that. Properties that are always on page one with the biggest ads will always attract more buyers. So you do have to pay for that position. And it's something that I always say to my sellers, did you know that there is a page two on Google? And everyone's like, oh, there is. There's millions of pages on, on Google. However, the top searched of what you're looking for will always come at the top. And it's very, very rare that you get to page two. It is no different on the real estate portals. If you're on page one, page two is acceptable. But if you get to page five, there is a really good chance that you've just completely missed the buyers. So a little marketing hack, pay the money, get up there in position because it will certainly get you more eyeballs. So there's just a couple of little marketing hacks. There's so much more that we can get into, but they're just some of the simple ones that everyone can do. Thanks for watching the Seller Series. I'm Chris Gilmore from All Properties Group.